Which of these is the popular title of a musical composition by J.S. Bach? Air on a G-string, breeze in a bikini, waft in the wife runs, <laughs> gust up a gusset. <laughs> Um, have you not heard of it? I don't think I have actually, no. Well, look at the ones you could probably eliminate. Yeah. By J.S. Bark. Well, I don't think it's wafting the Y fronts or breathing the bikini. <laughs> Do you think you wrote think it's classic pretty... composition, Gust Up Your Gusset? <laughs> I would imagine it's air on a G-string. It's the right answer! You've got to have a pound! Yeah. Oh, ah. Oh, just another 14 then. <laughs> You've got to have a quid. You've got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number two for £200. Maybe they get is. easier as they go on. Well, they might. <laughs> They're, listen, it's the old thing. They're only easy if you know the answer. But mm. usually on those early ones, there are no trick questions at all. No. Have a look at question number two for £200. Aer Lingus is the national airline of which country? Ireland, Russia, Australia, France. I think that's Ireland. It's the right answer. You got two hundred pounds. <laughs> Question number three for two hundred pounds. Here it is. In which city is Everton Football Club based? Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester, Newcastle. Football's not my good topic. <laughs> um... <clears throat> There will be people in this country at the moment screaming at their television sets. They will be, yes. Take your time. You're sitting here, they're not. It's for £300. In which city is Everton Football Club based? Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester or Newcastle? Have you got no idea? I feel I could just make a big mistake here if I, if I went for one of them, yes. Well, you would go home with nothing, Michelle, if you gave me a wrong answer. Yeah. Um, we certainly don't want that to happen. Uh, you got all three lifelines. Yeah. You got 50 50. Phone a friend, you can ask the audience. I think I'd like to ask the audience. It's okay. Please. Right, audience, on your keypads, please. Uh, this is the question. Let's make sure we get Michelle up to 300 quid. In which city is Everton Football Club based? A, B, C, or D? Where is Everton? All vote now. Um, yes, 1% of this audience thinks Everton are based in Manchester, 6% uh, Birmingham, 6% Newcastle, 87% say it's in Liverpool. I'll go with the audience and I'll say Liverpool. It's the right answer, you got 300 quid. Yeah, that's exactly what those lifelines are there for, to get you through. Have a look at question number four for £500. You've still got two lifelines. This is for 500 quid. Here it is. Which character in the TV soap EastEnders is played by Todd Carty? Ian Beale, Phil Mitchell, Mark Fowler, Nick Cotton. I don't even watch EastEnders. <laughs> you know which ones it's not? I don't think it's Phil Mitchell. I think it might be Mark Fowler. But I go home with nothing if I get it wrong. You do? You've got 300 quid. Yeah. Um, you can walk away with 300 quid. You've got a 50 50 and you can't find a friend. Fifty-fifty, please. Okay. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Michelle the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. They're the two I was stuck on. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I'm not going to phone a friend on this one, so I'm going to go with um, my final answer is Mark Fowler. But you know you go home with nothing if you're wrong. I know, but. 
you join a very elite gallery. Well, so far, I think two Will people. I be famous for not going? You will be famous. <laughs> I think you'll be the third um, person since uh, 1998. Deal. It's up to you. It's your call. Do you want to play? Yeah, I'll go with Mark Fowler. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got 500 pounds. <laughs> Michelle, you're probably to death. <laughs> right, Michelle, this is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. You can walk away with £500. Somebody yes. did that once. You go home with 500 quid. But you've still got that phone a friend. You've kept that back. Question number five is worth £1,000, OK? Have a look. This is question number five. Which word specifically links a type of mammal with an archbishop or high-ranking bishop? Carnivore, rodent, primate, marsupial. It's worth £1,000. This is much easier at home. <laughs> it's not real money at home. They're easier questions at home, too. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> it's a type of mammal with an archbishop. Well, I don't think it's rodent. What do you think, Michelle? Well, I don't think it's rodent. I don't think it's carnival. I don't think it's primate. <coughs> My only worry with primate is to sort of think of the word prime, and that's probably a silly link to be. So I'm thinking it's probably marsupial. And I really ought to get to a thousand pounds. <laughs> I can't find a friend. I think because I don't think it's the other three. Primate. Uh, a word linking a type of mammal with an archbishop or high-ranking bishop. It's for £1,000. I'll, um, I'll go with D marsupial. I'm sure it can't be rodent. And I'm sure it can't be carnival. It's just primate that worries me a little bit, but I really can't think that would be right. So I'll go my final answer is marsupial. Final answer? Yes. Oh, Michelle. I got it wrong. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's it the wrong primate. answer. The right oh. answer is primate. Oh, darn it, I can't believe you've done that. Never mind. Oh, Never it's much mind. easier at home, isn't it? It is. It's all because he stood on the money spider. I thought, I thought, oh. primate, I can't really think that you call a bishop a primate. Yeah, well, you don't call but... a marsupial, put it that way. No. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, Never stay mind. there. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Sorry, so you know we normally say that bit, give her a big hand, she still goes away. I mean, nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Um... You've just won a million pounds! Who wants to be a millionaire? The million pound question. Starts Sunday at 8 pm on ITV and ITV Hub. Okay, here's my final question. Would you like to see more Who Wants to Be a Millionaire videos? Then click subscribe and you're guaranteed to win. Granted, it's not a million pounds, but it could be worse.